These Japanese guys always sending me Korean instructions. What's up guys, OC Turbo Joe back again and we have here in front of us another Cusco part. Uh, you probably saw my installs here on YouTube as well as Instagram if you haven't followed me yet. Uh, go ahead and follow OC Turbo Joe. So I have in front of me a ladder brace um, that's meant for GRs and GV chassis. Now you're thinking what what the hell are you doing installing a GV part or GR part in your VA? Well, if you look at the mounting points here, here, and there, they're all the same. The only difference is that um, on the VA, this section here connects to the subframe. And right now I'm running a Cusco power brace, which is the brace under the subframe. And... It has some kind of uh, tie section to where it bridges the lower control arm to the subframe. However, the front control arm sections are, like I said, exactly the same place. So it looks like it's going to be a direct fit. Um, but you have to run the Cusco power brace because, like I said, the 2015 or the VAs have a tab that ties the left and right braces to the subframe. Um, the reason why I chose this is it's a lot beefier. Um, the VA just has this and this, but the, the GR and GVs have a little gusset section right here that will provide extra reinforcement. So it's, it's a trade-off between tying it to the subframe or increasing the rigidity uh, within the control arms. So I'm going to get the car lifted up and uh, pulled under tray and let's get to see, and we, we'll see how... Um, how much of a difference it makes if it does fit or not if i've wasted my money my hard-earned money to figure this out that way you guys can um, make a choice of getting either this or the va version all right so i've got the vehicle lifted up on jacks the under tray removed and you can see all my cusco goodness uh, the last piece I installed was this power brace up front under the front subframe and as you can see the the parts that I'm replacing are this lateral crossbar here as well as the power side braces that attach from the side uh, uh, side tabs I guess you can say to I'm sorry, from the subframe to the rear of the control arm here. So that's the difference between the VA chassis and the GR. And the GRs, these were just on its own and this ladder brace down there was on its own from the control arms, the rear of the control arms, or the front section of the control arms, right? Going to the rear section of the control arms. So we're going to butt it up against each other and see if they fit, which I believe they should. Now the first thing I want to look at is the rear mount. Whoa, shit. The rear mount where the 19 mil bolts uh, cinches, cinches it down. Now, you can't see from here, like, I don't have enough room to hold the camera for you to see right through, but it does match. Same for the other side. So this is looking good so far. And the next test is putting this uh, GRGV lower control mount uh, brace right where the holes line up for the 19 mil that attach to the brackets, the triangle brackets. And there's the passenger side. And here is 
the driver's side line up it lines up pretty well and this is where it connects to the lower control arm sorry the camera's going all over the place but here's where the other one mounts and this will align also so for you to look at it I mean that's where it's gonna be just like this and you can see how much beefier it is just by placing it on there there's a lot of bracing going on with the GR version which I think is a lot more stronger it has less break points than the VA even though you do connect it to the subframe there's a lot more break points okay so I got the VA version out as you can see this is what it comprises of one bar here you got the two uh, side braces this part here is what uh, differs the VA and the, the v, uh, GR chassis uh, just that and like I said there's a lot of break points there's a lot of areas where it's not you know uniform as this it's like a one piece thing see how much uh, like I said the gussets here um, it's all one piece rather than being uh, you know a bunch of broken pieces and that's what causes all the creaks so after I installed this there was a bunch of creaks I mean I could feel like a, maybe a marginal increase in handling but this is a lot better and you'll see later on when I install it how much better it is because this piggybacks off of these stock brackets show you I think one of them one of these guys here all it does is sit right over it um, if I can get a correct orientation of it they just sit like that or I could, it could be the other side yeah it sits just like that and the connection points are at this 17 millimeter threaded hole and then a 12 millimeter bolt and nut. So it's not really a secure uh, solution. However, they do sell one that replaces the whole bar and replaces uh, one a one piece uh, bracket and bar going to the subframe. But I like that better. So I'm gonna put it back and I'll show you the difference. Got the brace installed. It took me about a half an hour. It was a bitch because I had to remove the bolt here and as well as there and the whole control arm just dropped. And with the tire installed it makes it super difficult. So I suggest you remove the tire just to get uh just to get an easier um chance of maneuvering the little control arm should you align the bolts. But uh yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um the main point I was trying to make was right here. We had that guy on here, and then, like I showed you earlier, it's piggybacked onto that. So you can see a direct connection from, you know, the control arm to the chassis rather than piggybacking. And here we go straight to the control arm, front and rear, tied to the chassis. Um, this is also connected to the subframe via lower control arm bolt. Um, like I said, then the VA removes this part here, which ties the other crossbar, but you got this guy here Same on the other side So I'm overall happy with the install Could have been easier if I had another person with me, but you know, I do things myself piece of cake uh, Yep, so much blue under there and now if you guys want to pick up this guy out, um, just make sure you either cut that section off or just buy this guy. I mean, what's a couple hundred bucks more for that, right? Well, yep. If you guys like what you see, just like and subscribe. See you guys later. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram.